uh, I'm back and welcome to video 90 in this ACS vanilla series and I'm currently in the process of showing you guys how to build up a Shandal Disciple to use their sacred artifacts for Shandal Disciples and in my last video I showed you guys how to clear out obsessions with your Shandal, Shandal Disciples as well as the two different guard buildings that you'll need to be able to survive the tribulations which are relatively weak so just to reiterate that you just need a guards temple level 9 for nether judge and then you need ideally a guards temple level 9 for dark male and guardian guardian judge as well however if this one is less than level 9 then it's okay and uh, the dark male and guardian is going to give you some barrier power and then the nether judge is going to give you tons of mass chi which will be around like 1.3 million mass chi and then on top of that you will want the temple of glaze as well in order to max out the power of these guards temples because the temple of glaze enhances the power of the guard temples and then besides that i would recommend that you stay at 501,000 population because that are that is the requirement or the population that is allowed by a Shandal that is at the Y stage and I strongly believe that at the Y stage is when you can really start to work on your sacred artifact so anyways in the last video I was working on doing some detachment tribulations and gathering up my states and my goal was to have 48 which is exactly what I need in order to have legacy um, artifact modifiers however for some reason I wanted to get 49 so I just went and got another set of obsessions off map so I'm just gonna go and clear those because you know the more states the better it's never like a bad thing to have more states however I really only need eight because there's only eight legacy modifiers that are applicable to the Shindao artifact so as you can see right here some of my disciples are really close to having these obsessions so I think I did a really good job at making sure that I didn't accumulate the obsessions off map so pretty much all of my disciples are like 99% for these obsessions so I just need to let my game run a little bit more for them to be able to do the tribulations and then besides that I also have that dark armor talisman equipped of course for defensive abilities so I'm just gonna make sure that the I know that these guys are getting the anxious obsession but I'm not sure if the depressive session is accumulating for everyone because I know I had trouble with that on Shandao 2 but it looks like Shandao 2 has <coughs> the anxious obsession so I'm just gonna move forward and detach that while I wait for these other guys to get their anxious and depressed obsessions and then if the depressive session doesn't fully realize then I'll just create one big room and then throw them all in there and they will pretty much have negative moodless due to them all being in the same room and so yeah we're pretty much just waiting for those to appear <coughs> okay we can have some cultivators that are attacking my village my sect I cannot stand for this Let's see where are we at Shandao one. Yeah, they're very close to getting this anxious obsession. All right, so now Shandao one can do another detachment tribulation. As you can see, I already did sit, so I'm on the seventh one right now. Then Shandao 4 has some detachments. I pretty much believe that all of my Shandao are like in a really good spot to make a good Shandao artifact. So I was going to trigger all of these. I forgot about Shandao 3. And then besides that, this guy was also creating some needles of tribulations just because I wanted to compare the needle of tribulation to the Shandao artifact so these needles of tribulations were actually created which are legacy artifacts so now I have those needles of tribulation 
which I was able to cry for my heaven sending law cultivator. And let's see. In order to meet the incubation requirements for the needle of tribulation, you need to successfully expect to refine it 11 times. So basically, you just have to bring it up to tier 12. And for the most part, legacy artifacts already start on tier 12, and needles of tribulation is one of the rare cases in which they don't. So even if that wasn't one of the incubation requirements, you would still need to refine it to tier 12 just because it will have more damage at tier 12. So the requirements to incubate the needle of tribulation are just really convenient. So I'm just going to have my disciples move forward and do refinements on this. And I don't even have 11 anger sojourns. Wow. So I'll just look for my guys that have tall refinement. And then of course I'm using the mod for 100% spectre refinement so I'll be able to do this pretty easily but I do have 430 tribulation as to work with so even if I didn't have the mod I'm pretty confident that I would be able to do all of these refinements with that much with 430 chances and I just need to pass 66 times We're going to do more tile refinements on this one. I honestly lost track of which needle of tribulation I was pointing towards. Let's see. Generation 2 turtle. Eleven more refinements. Then this one has a tau refinement. Just going to click every one. It will go red if a disciple is already assigned to refine it. All right, so it looks like I got every one. So yeah, these guys are just getting through this tribulation with or without artifacts. It doesn't matter for Shindal disciples. Yeah, it seems like they're not all the way depressed, huh? No, I mean, this one is accumulating experience, so... Maybe it just takes a little bit more time. And then Chanel 4 is more depressed and anxious. Okay, so everyone cleared their sessions there. Let's see. They have another one. Okay, Shindai 1 is almost done. Shindai 2, are you depressed? Oh, no, we had trouble with Shindai 2. But the nice thing about Shindai 2 is they have 682 mental state, which is pretty great. Shindai 1 is still bugged, but it's okay. And then let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 states. So everything is fine with Shindao 2, even though they are missing one more session that they could have. Um, I forgot where I assigned Shindao 2, actually. I see we have Shindao 3. And they are done as well. Let's see Shindao 4. What does 5 look like? Okay, they are pretty much done. Then we just have Chanel sits lastly. Let me just double check Chanel sits. Yep. Uh, the million saves. So all of my disciples, I believe, will have 10 states except for Shindao 2 just because they didn't get that depressive session. They have 9, but again, I only need 8 states to do what I want to do, so I'm good. So 1, 2, 3 is good. Huh, Shindao 6 was typically at the bottom of here, so I either got a disciple or someone died. I'm not sure. Maybe just sort, sort it on like join date. 
and one of my elders may have died and then got relocated. Let me know if someone died on me and I didn't realize it. That's very typical. <laughs> Shit now two is just waiting for everyone. Alright, now that my Shendals have more than the necessary states in order to create a really good Shendal artifact for a Shanal disciple, I now have to accumulate the different buildings in order to be able to enhance my artifact so all of these sp halls or these buildings that start with sp and then colon these are things that will increase their relic however there are some that we are missing and there are ones that have legacy modifiers so all of my channels they just have the base buildings and i need to move forward and unlock the other buildings and to do that you need your shindal disciple to examine an ancient scroll so this i can show you what an ancient scroll looks like so this right here is an ancient scroll so once your shindal disciple examines an ancient scroll they will be able to unlock they will unlock other buildings and it's kind of like gotcha so it's very um rng and there are in total 19 sp buildings that the shindal will unlock and if the shindal has already unlocked the building then it will re roll and keep make and keep going until it fully unlocks all of the SP buildings. However, the gacha gets annoying when you want to unlock the buildings that aren't based on the sacred pavilion. So I can show you guys what that looks like in terms of the logic. So I'm gonna pull up this page right here. Give me one second. So this is the wiki page for ancient scrolls, right? So basically what this says is, upon successfully reading the scroll, a random number between one and 20 will be chosen, which will unlock this other Shandao law or a random building in the divine realm right so if this is already unlocked then it will unlock a random sacred pavilion building instead with a five percent chance and then it just keeps going for these ones that are not the sacred pavilion building so it will always pretty much default into the sacred pavilion buildings right and then once you get into the sacred pavilion buildings you get a random one but it's one that hasn't been unlocked so you really just need about like 19 ancient scrolls to unlock all 19 of these sacred pavilion buildings my math may be off because i'm not doing exact math i'm just talking pretty much just from like what i see right here but besides that i would say that based on what i'm looking at the logic seems to gradually go to the sacred pavilion buildings which is very useful however if you want to unlock these other buildings right here then you would need to get really lucky because once you unlock all of the sacred pavilion buildings it gets it can get to a point where you can continuously just get these buildings over and over again unless until you you can continuously get these buildings over and over again even though you have already unlocked them and it wouldn't re-roll back into one of these buildings so the main building that you really want is the altar of guards which is required to promote um, mortals into core followers so that's kind of how it works so basically ancient scrolls are really annoying but you can definitely you don't need to use a mod in order to match how your sacred relic however if you want to make a channel for more things then you'll probably need to use a mod and there's a discover mod so i can go back into the mod store and show you what that is but a discover mod will basically allow you to select the ancient scroll and then pick specifically which buildings you want to use so let's see i did download this mod right here so it's called ancient scrolls discover and you can just get it from the mod square by just flipping through and as you can see there's like this menu right here where you can select the different options that you can get from the ancient scroll and that's a little bit like too much for me but i would definitely recommend it if you're just re-rolling shendao or you just have a little bit of ancient scrolls and not enough to feel confident enough to unlock everything that you need to unlock so let's see sis oh sis craft relic i guess
Let's do craft relic. A. So I'm naming this save file Conquer Sex is because when you want to get ancient scrolls, you pretty much have to be able to kill sect elders because they cause um, connection. However, you can bypass the connection system if you conquer sex. And they don't really spawn like they don't really refill that quickly either. So if we just look at Mount Shu right here and go to trade, we'll see that they have 19 Asian scrolls that they can sell to me and it doesn't require any connection, right? And I'm gonna need like at least 19 scrolls per Chanel Disciple. So me just getting 19 connections is just very unrealistic. It will require for me to, you know, just continuously kill these elders and like you and gain connection by giving them favor again. And then I'll be able to buy ancient scrolls as I'm continuously killing the elders and refreshing the old the sect leader so that I can keep getting connection. However, I do have some really strong disciples and a really strong sect, so I am in a position where I can just conquer these sects. So, um, based on my gameplay being like 600 days in, these sects they have like around 19 ancient scrolls each. So I'm pretty good on that. So I believe that it would be cool. It would be fine for me to just conquer like six sects. And currently, I have four sects that are conquered. So I'm just gonna move forward and then conquer two more sects. And I'm trying to decide which ones I want to conquer. I would probably go with. Let's see which ones have like pretty good items that I would maybe want to buy. So I think Purple Cloud Paulus for sure because they have the Phoenix Elixir. I do not want to have to pay connection for that. And then let's see, it was another site that I can conquer. Ooh, Kula and Palace has Eternity Pills and Sun Pills. That's a pretty good option. Yeah, so I'll do Purple Cloud, Palace, and then Mount Kunlun. So, I just have my Lady Cloud enter. I really believe that she's, like, strong enough to just fight this site, like, outright by herself. So, we'll see. I shouldn't have to do too much preparation. Just because I know that this Disciple is super strong. I see Lady Claus a demigod, she has 1.3 million battle power, 12 barrier power, and a lot of other things. Let's go into beast form, let's see what our stats are now. I don't even think it changes, but it's okay. I'm just gonna attack this sect, and hopefully we win, you know? And if we don't, then I suck. Okay, they're actually doing a good amount of damage. But we do have heals. Yeah, I don't know. See, this is because I'm really losing chi because Lady Cloud's a demigod. And demigods, they get an increase in artifact max chi, which is what you don't really want. Though there are benefits to being a demigod, like being able to instantly just jump into the set. So, I mean, it was a give and take thing. But, like, if I was really trying to maximize her power, then I wouldn't have made her a demigod. I would have kept her at primordial spirit stage. But yeah, she has enough hills to survive this sect, apparently. Let me actually click on this formation. Oh, okay, I'm like, why isn't this formation down after all of this time? I think it's just a targeting issue at this point. Okay, so this sect just surrendered. So now I have this sect under my control. Let's see, are there any things that I want to kind of get from them? Okay, they have tough demon hide, thin clothing, so I'll just go for that. Since so that's pretty useful it's the best clothing in the game so why not everything else i can pretty much make myself i can make a tier 12 artifact but attaining like tough demon high clothing is really hard let's see what is this artifact that one looks so beautiful though honestly like look at that glow is that a lotus root <laughs> it's a golden lotus root that's op this one has also has thin clothing. Okay. So that pretty much sums up everything. I don't think these guys have anything else that I will want. Ice crystal bracelet. That's cute. So yeah, let's search this guy as well. Alright, so now we got a nice set of tough demon high clothing. 
which is great. So now I unlock all the buildings from Mount Kunlun and now it's time to go for another site. Let's actually go into Beast Farm as well. Beast Farm and then I'm gonna use Power Origin Force to increase my power even more. So now we're at 1700. And let me go and dominate Purple Cloud Palace. The things we do for Ancient Scrolls but yeah, if you're doing a Shindal Disciple early game, then I would recommend that you just mess out your favor with sex so that you can just buy Ancient Scrolls. And then I guess you would have to also get strong enough to kill elders, but you wouldn't necessarily have to get strong enough to dominate a whole sect because those are like two different realms. So I'm just going to jump on these guys really quickly and do the same thing that I did before Vitality Chant and reverse the cycle using this. This one has a 130 second cooldown. This is a 150 second cooldown, so I can use these together. And yeah, they pretty much just stand no chance at all. I'm probably just like swapping out the formation repeatedly. Like why does she keep killing our formation pillar every time we swap out? I don't know, get good. Yeah, this formation is going down easily. They still have a really strong stability despite all of these nodes being weak. You guys are doing a good job. I'm using this to empower my spell power, so now this heals like more. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have the bonus right now. This is 1.3 million, but when I use this, it heals 2 million. And this one healed 400,000, so now it has 600,000. So yeah, I just got infinite heals pretty much. Okay, and I'm going to look for the thin clothing again. Though that dragon feces are really enticing as well. But I can really get dragon feces anytime, and I'm not even thinking about that right now. So I just want to focus on the thin clothing. This one doesn't have a full thin set, so... Oh, there's two? This is a Dragon Feast and a Divine Jade. Okay, I can't... I can't skip out on that. Oh, not the Summer Pants. Dragon Feces. And then the two thin clothing. Oh, that was Summer. I'll just get some thin pants right here and then find someone with a thin shirt. Okay, where did that Divine J drop though? Oh, I see it. I need more thin clothing. Okay, they have thin pants and thin shirt. I like that. So what am I missing? I'm missing one more thin shirt. Hopefully I can get it, but I don't know. These guys seem kind of poor. Ah, uh, Purple Cloud Palace. I might just go for the other Dragon Feces that was around. Yeah, all of these elders are poor. Oh, we have a thin shirt. Nice. It is Su Ming Man. Alright, so I got two thin sets and then I got Divine Jade and Dragon Feces. I'll take it. And again, that's the only thing that sucks about like dominating sex is that once you dominate the sex, you already have enough resources to the point where all of the loot that you would get from dominating the sex doesn't really matter. So like all of those tier 12 talismans are just kind of useless. 
because I can already craft a lot of tier 12 talismans. I can already collect all those materials that I need. So that's why I like stealing because that's the only way for you to get that far without you having to pretty much not need those items anymore. Or like even like roasting elders as well, which is in my, my other videos. So she's in beast form, so she's unstable. Let's turn her back into human form. Then I don't care about these animals. All right, so now that I'm done on my detour to collect ancient scrolls or dominate these sects, now I can buy these ancient scrolls from these sects. So I'm just gonna go and buy all of the ancient scrolls from these sects and show you guys what it looks like to get those different scrolls. So I'm just gonna start and just use all of my connection to buy ancient scrolls if I don't have a connection requirement. So this doesn't require me to have a connection. So obviously I have this sect dominated. I can also buy holy stone from them too. And ancient scrolls aren't cheap either. They're a thousand each. What? So yeah, you have to be a little bit rich, well, just a little bit, in order to buy these things. So let me see what treasure do I have that I can really trade for these ancient scrolls. I will have to get like 60. So I guess I could do like my origin forest, my sage fruit, and things like that because this is 1.5 times. So I guess if I did like prison lotus for this one, and then I'll add a phoenix flesh. But yeah, I can always get more of those if I wanted to. Like honestly, I went like what 300 days without adventuring, and I already have like so much money just from these items from when I was adventuring. So this is 1950, so I'll just do 12 and then I'll just do two more Phoenix feathers. And what okay, here, take another feather. Oh, the connection. Wow, and you're saying I'm not worth it. Wow, that is disrespectful. Okay, I'll just leave you guys alone. I don't like having all the sex dominated because I like to have a little bit of variance. So this one requires no connections. So let's see. I think it was like 12. I'll just do a mix of the other ones too. So 1950 again, so I'll just do one. To how much is Phoenix Flesh selling for? Uh, not that much. That was Mount Hundred Insects. So let's start with Evanfall Abode. I don't have any connection. And then Blue Lotus Temple, I don't require any connection. I just do this Gnarled Vine. And then Flood Dragon Scale. Feels good to be rich. Mr. Unity Sect. I need connection for that. And then Purple Cloud Palace. I don't need connection for this one. So, how will I pay for this? Who Nard Vine. Oh, Crimson Fruit. I have a lot of this. And then again, I have Flood Dragon Scales and Abundance. And then the dragon is always popping up, so I can always get more if I want some more. And then Skydome Polis seems to be the last one that I can buy from. I'll do some Nard Vine and some Crimson Fruit. 1650. Let's do Flood Dragon Flesh. I have so many. And then I'm just going to do some rounds and double check everything. So require connection zero. None. I already bought all the ancient scrolls from them. I have all of the ancient scrolls from them. I have all of them from them. And yeah, you wouldn't even have this many ancient scrolls if your game wasn't like this late. So that's also a blocker for Shandal Disciples. And maybe another reason why you would want to use the Discomer mod. Just to maximize the ancient scrolls that you have. Let me open up this casket too because caskets have a chance of giving one. Okay, I got an illuminated dark steel ore or a function relic. 
So right now I have 96 Ancient Scrolls and I have 6 Shindal Disciples. So what does that mean? I need to bring out my calculator. Excuse me. 96 divided by 6. That's about 16 Ancient Scrolls per Shandao Disciple. So I actually need like 19. So I don't even know how this is going to go. But I do know that I need eight ancient scrolls just to create all of the buildings no i need more than eight because there are some regular ones that i don't have access to as well so let me see so for my sacred artifact i would like to have these legacy buildings which are these eight buildings right here i grab these from the different channel resources and then I would also like to have these regular buildings and I just call them regular because they are not legacy modifiers but they are modifiers that add like power and damage to your Shandal disciple. So one thing that I noticed is that the Shandal guide excludes the Hall of Wheat and it makes sense for a Shandal disciple because the Hall of Wheat will reduce uh, the, the attack speed of the disciple and Shandal they don't have that they don't really have that much like natural attack speed but Shandal Disciples they have a ridiculous amount of attack speed to the point where like a negative 2 attack speed modifier on an artifact won't really impact them so I had pretty much came to a conclusion that it would be cool it would be fine for me to take the Hall of Weight because it gives more power and more attack speed wouldn't necessarily make them weaker because they're reaching the cap and attack speed so that's why I have it set up like this whereas and the guide is really just these five and then these eight for the Shendal disciples specifically. So I know that these, the Hall of A Plume and the Hall of Weight, are available by default, and I need to collect Hall of Blaze, Seas, Thunder, Gale, and then all of these other eight buildings, right? So that's what four plus eight, so that's twelve ancient scrolls that I would need. So just to be safe, I will preserve seventy-two ancient scrolls, I guess, because I'm going to need twelve for all of my Shandal disciples right so I think I'll just do the random roll on like how many this 24 so I'll just have all of my Shandal do four scrolls each and then I will have 72 left over and then I'll use the D scummer to pick the buildings that I specifically want just to you know make sure I'm not just leaving it up to RNG and just to make the video more simpler and show you guys what it looks like for both ways in terms of like obtaining buildings so enough of that now time to open up these ancient scrolls so again I'm just gonna have them all do sits for four sorry because I have 24 left over so Shandal 1 was assigned for Shandal 2 will be assigned for Chanel 3. I don't know how many I just se selected. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. <laughs> is that selected or not? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it is. So I just need to do one more. And then Chanel 4. I'm sure that they will get at least one favorable option so it's not the end of the world if I'm off by one or two worst case scenario I just have to dominate another sec three four And yeah, there you have it. I have all of my Shandals assigned to open these for each. And then I just want to create this storage area so hopefully my dis outer disciple doesn't like start to move them around and get annoying. And of course, I am going to save my game just because I always save my games, especially when I'm doing things that I want to be able to go back and practice. So this is this oh sits. Craft Relics B Open Scrolls A I guess Random I don't know these names are just going to just get longer and longer
So now my Shinra will begin to examine these scrolls and you'll be able to see what these pop ups look like soon. Alright, so once they get once they examine the scroll, it will tell you whether or not the building that whether or not the Shinra already has the building or not. So it says its contents unknown. Obviously this is my first time opening the scroll, so more than likely it's gonna be unknown. So then once you do read, it's just gonna tell you like what you got. So this one says uh, method of building a wonder known as secret pavilion. So this is one of the SP buildings and then there's another pop-up under that that tells you specifically which one it was, but it's kind of weird. So I got Hall of Blades from Shandao 2. So I just had to keep hitting like OK and then just get rid of all these pop-ups. So this guy got Hall of Gale. And then it's just kind of like, it, it pretty much is gotcha, but they do make a they do make sure that for the SP buildings at least that you will not get one over and over again until you at least have all of the SP buildings and I just got Residence of Generality which is one of the non SP buildings so that's super useful and of course I have a beast attack while I'm going through all of these pop-ups I see this one got Hall of Spectre so this is like a legacy artifact modifier so it grants a secret I like the power of spectral for every 15th attack a source sprite is generated in the last 15 seconds so they have like basically like reduced clone versions of legacy artifacts power of all spirits deep and boisterous energy so these ones are the sacred pavilion buildings that don't work so this says increased spell skill level by three but that absolutely doesn't work so you can just ignore those ones spectral Majesty, Blade, Altar of Guards, that's something that was super nice. Let's see what these, okay. These aren't even invaders, honestly. So we got another Altar of Guards on Shindal Sis, which is super nice. The main one that you really want to get is the Altar of Guards. If you're focused on making the Shindal strong specifically, like individually. Protect is a legacy modifier, and we just want to go for all of the legacy modifiers and then these residences too, because the connection residence and the generality residence will give you 250,000 population, which is pretty nice. So let me just do the spell on these guys. So now that my Shendao have opened up all of these. And I was able to show you guys how to do it randomly. Now I think it's time for me to pull up the discomer and then kind of just go through my Shendao Disciple and then see everything that they need and then just add everything appropriately just so that I'm not in a situation where I have to like buy more ancient scrolls just because that would be annoying for the video purposes. But if I was just playing like by myself and not recording then I would probably take that extra step to you know get more ancient scrolls and just do it that way. So let me just change this to see open scrolls it's gone so I have this mod right here I'm just gonna activate it and then show you guys how I would go about selecting these buildings for like one shandow and then I'm just gonna do it for the remainder of my shandows and then do a time skip but I'm obviously gonna show you guys that just for one guy but I just don't want you guys to have to watch me do this for all of these disciples so now that I have the discover toggled on and I have this notepad file which I will be using to pretty much guide me right here I will be able to figure out exactly what I need so firstly I need Hall of Blaze, Seas, Thunder and Gale so let me just go into the Divine Realm and then see what buildings they have so they have Weight, A Plume, Seed, Guard okay so I can see all of the regular buildings on one screen so let's just see what I'm missing so like some of these are like kind of like not even good like this Hall of Storm doesn't really give any benefits that are useful for artifact combat honestly 
so if I pull up this and then I just overlay it over I can see that I need to get I have the A plume already so I just need to get hmm do I need to get hollow blades yeah it looks like I do need to get hollow blades and I need to get and I have C so I need to get blades thunder and I believe Gale. Do I have Gale over here? Is Gale in attendance? No. So I need to get hold of Gale. And then I also need to get hold of Weight. Oh, Weight. Hold of Weight is already the default one. I did identify Hold of A Plume and Hold of Weight as ones that are naturally with your Shindao Disciple. So then besides that, I need to get these legacy buildings. So let's see what I have in terms of that. I don't think this one has any of the legacy buildings. Let's see. Nope, it doesn't seem like it. So let's mark these down as well on my notepad file. So I need poison, spirit, recall, specter, breath, nine, infinity, and when. I need to give this like a unique name so I can just do replace all. Let's do space as sets. Because I'll need to do this for all system I should now disciples. So now I know which ones I need to select. So now it's just pretty much a point of me just opening up these ancient scrolls. So again I'll have Shindar 1, examine the ancient scroll and now that I have the mod I can now actually select what I want which saves me a world of like worry so now I would like to go into the heavenly palace I guess oh that's not what I wanted <laughs> so I already chose the wrong option which is great I actually do not even know what the heavenly palace is used for so I think I want to go into the sacred pavilions then yeah this seems to have everything that I need so I need the hollow blades so I'll get that and then I know that I need let's see so I got the hollow blades just now so I need one two yeah I need one two and then this is eight so I need ten more scrolls so I'm just gonna have them examine ten scrolls or I can just do five just to save myself some brain clutter. Three, four, five. So I know that I need Thunder and Gale Nets. So I need Thunder, Sacred Pavilions, and I need Gale. And now I need all of the legacy modifiers, which would be Poison Spirit, Recall. Spectre Breath and Nine. So Poison Spirit and then Recall. Then I'm pretty sure that was the last one. And now I need Breath Nine, Infinity and Wind. So I need five more Spectre Breath Nine, Infinity and Wind. Okay. Yeah, you just need a notepad for these type of things. Three. I'm gonna do five more again. So I need breath. Nine. Infinity Wind and then I guess I need Spectre yeah it says that was unknown so now I have all of the legacy modifiers that I can add to my shit now so as you can see I now have all of these legacy buildings and I'm actually going to go forward and do the same thing that I just did with all of my other Shindals. And then I'll show you what it looks like to pretty much to add these buildings to the Divine Realm. 
and you know have a really good divine artifact that we can then pass over to our Shandal disciple so yeah I'll do a time skip and I'll see you guys after I'm done setting up all of my Shandal disciples wish me luck and hope that I don't go crazy don't all right, I'm back and I am on my last Shandala Disciple and I decided that I want to take a chance at trying to, you know, test my proof of concept in terms of what I said about how the Shandao Ancient Scroll re-rolling will still end up giving you Sacred Pavilions if you haven't unlocked them. So you should still be good to unlock the Sacred Pavilions unless you need a very specific amount of Ancient Scrolls. So I'm going to turn off my D scummer mod and then load it up and I'm going to do this for Shendal 6. So I can show you guys right here and uh, my Excel sheet. Well, let me wait for my game to load first because I don't want to have too many things going on. Alright, so now that my game is loaded, uh, I have my Shendal Sis going to collect 9 Ancient Scrolls because I actually went through all of my Shendals and I made a pretty much like a small Excel sheet to pretty much just help me keep track of which buildings these guys are missing. So Shendal Sis is missing the Hall of Seed and Thunder. And then they're missing all of the Legacy Artifact buildings except for one. So they need to open up 9. Then I just use this quick formula to count how many S's I have set up so I was easily able to do this and figure out like exactly how many scrolls I need to open up. So basically I'm assuming that based on the logic that I saw on the wiki that just with, op just with opening up 9 ancient scrolls my Shandao sits should theoretically unlock a, a large majority of the sacred pavilion buildings that they need or maybe they would just need three more because there are those three useless sacred pavilion billions that are supposed to increase skill level but they are bugged to actually not increase skill level so i think i would need to consume either nine or probably more than likely like 12 ancient scrolls in order to unlock all of these buildings that i need so to reiterate i need seed and thunder and then i need every single hall except for specter for the, on the legacy side so i'm expecting this to take nine to twelve tries so yeah let's just see how that goes so let's see I can't even see which one they just got so they got Hall of Mastery so that's one of the fodder ones so this is going to increase the amount needed to ten so I know that I'm going to need at least one extra one and then this one is Poisons okay so that's one that I needed for sure this one right here is guard so that's another fodder one so I'm going to need to do two extra ones and then this one right here is breath which I believe is one that I wanted yeah breath is one that I wanted charge this is something that I didn't want so hmm so this also takes into account the non legacy building so I'm also not thinking too much about that so that's what three extra ones that I will need to use and then this is one that I wanted what is that? I think that's one that I didn't want. This is one that I wanted for sure. That was a legacy building. And I don't think that was one that I wanted either. So, okay. So, I do see where my logic went wrong. Um, I made the assumption that the only fodder buildings that we had to worry about were legacy buildings. However, there are also a lot of non-legacy buildings that are also fodder. So let me just keep going with these ancient scrolls and seeing where my guy is at. So I have nine ancient scrolls left over. So I'll just do like, I don't know, like three or four. Because I believe that there were at least five fodder, fodder buildings. So this is what it would look like without a discomer. You had to spend a little bit extra. So I got thunder, which is one that I wanted. And then I got Magic, which is yet another fodder building. Heavenly Hall, that's one that reduces the damage of Tribulation. I got Wind, and that's one that I wanted as well. So I believe that I got two ones that I didn't want, which were the ones that would increase Heavenly Tribulation and uh, another fodder one that increases like stats. So I'm going to have send out Sis, examine these two more. So we got Hall of Nine. And then we got Mortal Malik. Cholia? 
<laughs> so there's also a fodder one because I don't really want that one and now we got Hall of Spirit so let's see where our Shindal Disciple is now in terms of all of the ones that I desired so I want them to have Blaze, Seas, Thunder, and Gale on the non-legacy side so let's just make sure we have those so we have Blade right here, we have Thunder right here, we have Gale right here so I believe that we are missing Hall of Seeds and then uh, in terms of the legacy ones we want Poison Spirit, Recall, Spectre Breath, Nine, Infinity, and Wit so that's Poison Spirit and then we have these trash ones which are Guard, Magic, and Majesty but then besides that we have Recall, Spectre, Breath, Nine, Infinity, and Wind. So it really looks like we're just missing one building, which is the Seed building. So let's take a gamble and see if this one will unlock the Seed building. And let's see. Yep. As you can see, we got the Hall of Seed. So I'm assuming that opening this will either give me yet another Father one or give me like an unknown one. Or be like a duplicate. So let's see. Okay, so this is... Okay, so it says he already know it already. So this is like when a gotcha starts to get annoying. So yeah, that kind of does verify the proof of concept. But the way that I was explaining it is that I was just thinking about only the legacy artifacts. But there are also fodder buildings on the non-legacy artifact side as well. So anyways, now that I have all of my Shendao conveniently with all of the buildings unlocked, I'm going to save my game. And luckily I was able to do that with like just barely enough ancient scrolls to pass. I didn't count how many extra I needed to use, but there definitely was a couple of extra that I had to do with the last Shandal by doing that demonstration. So I'm gonna definitely save my game and then create a new save file. Just so that I have that as well. So let's see, what is this day? Six, eight, craft relics, E, build relics. This is pretty much the last step. So I'm pretty much, I would say, done. Maybe I should name this system. Oh, nine. No, I'll just keep it like this. As long as it's in alphabetical order, I'm good in terms of like my how my files are set up. I'm just gonna let my game load up. All right, so once you have all of the buildings, which I, for now, memorize exactly is <laughs> all of the buildings that I need to create the relic, you can now begin to upgrade your secret relic. So let me actually try to make this look better so that we can actually see what's happening. So we have this artifact right here and we want to increase it to its maximum power so that we can give it over to a Shandal Disciple. So you actually cannot transfer relics that have legacy modifiers so you have to do the legacy modifiers last. So first let's just start off with the regular stuff. So right now I have 420,000 required divine residents and then in my notes it says that I need 30k population for all the regular buildings and then I just need 80k for the other one. So I just need room for 120,000 population. So let me just see what I can do to reduce the amount of population that I'm using. I'm think I'm pretty much done doing detachment tribulation, so I think I will just remove this guard's temple to make it so that I have at least 120,000 population and just make it like any regular guard's temple. And then let me just delete these just to clear up clutter because Shendal 1 specifically just has a lot of clutter. And then this is bugged, so let's toggle this on then off. Oh, I am fumbling. Let's remove this word icon. So these icons are basically just an indicator that the building is disabled for now. And I have a lot of beliefs so I can just delete things, add things, make mistakes and not really have to worry too much about it. Let's make this level 3. Alright, so now that that's done, I can now create all of the temples that I need. And again, I need 6 temples in order to max out the Shendao Relic in terms of like just normal power without legacy.
so we want a plume and we also want weight because those are the ones that the Shandal naturally comes with and then the ones that you would obtain are blade seed thunder and gale so those are all of the ones that you want you don't want this one because it just it doesn't give you any benefit and neither does this one this one uh, let's see hall of storm it sounds interesting because it says it makes it more agile and all that but I promise you it's not that good of a bonus so if we go here and we search up hall of storm it reduces the artifact power by one so yeah we definitely do not want that so once we have that the artifact is now at 101 artifact power so now if I just increase these buildings to their maximum levels then we can see a change in the artifact power so now the artifact power is at 142 and right now it's only tier 11 out of tier 15 so I'm gonna increase this to tier 14 and now we can see that our artifact power is at 232 which is the maximum value so I need to do the same thing with all of these other Shindal disciples as well but I don't need to do a time scamp, time skip because this should be very quick for my other Shindal disciples so let's see weight a plumed and then blade seed thunder and gale the more I say this to myself the more I remember so I'm getting really good at just memorizing exactly what we need for the Shindal disciple and then we want to get the sacred pavilion to level 14 but of course I think I have too much population because it is Gar's temple right here so let's just make this a lower level one and then get this to level 14 then upgrade this to whatever I still need to make room in order to add the legacy buildings which is going to cost 30,000 so I need to be mindful about that as well so now that Shandal 2 has done that, their artifact should be exactly the same as the other Shandal Disciples. So let's do Recall Sacred Artifact. And now we're at 232 artifact power on that one as well. So as you can see, Shandals are very overpowered because you can create an artifact out of anything and then make it have these really good stats that are great for Shandal Disciples. So they have 232 artifact power. Their Chi Recovery is 173. The Chi Capacity is very low. It's very close to the Chi Recovery, which is exactly what we want. And you can do this for multiple artifacts of multiple different elements. So that's the important thing about Shandal is like, because if you're crafting artifacts, then the artifacts that you're crafting can have different labels based on the elements. But if you have a Shindal Disciple, then you can just make a good artifact out of any element. So like for example, if you made an artifact out of, I don't know, like cotton, because you just like the way cotton looks and you want it to like just use a wood element artifact because you're using a water cultivator, then you don't really have any good options. But if you have a legacy uh, artifact created by a Shindal Disciple, then you have infinite options because they all are pretty much equalized. So let's go back to adding these buildings. Blade, Seed, Thunder, Gale. And as you can see, I didn't even need that many buildings, but I just needed to get to these four rings. Then let's make this level 14 and double check the power and everything. 232. And now we just have three more Shandal to go. Blade, Seed. I like the Blade and Seed and Thunder and Gale to be nice to each other. And then I'll do a Plume and Weight. Upgrade. And then make sure that this is a lower level. then move forward with upgrading the sacred pavilion to level 14 where we at now 232 perfect and yeah for Shandal disciples this is really all you care about if you're passing your artifacts over however if you are making a Shandal disciple to be individually strong then the guards temple are pretty much like the bread and butter of the Shandal disciple so you definitely don't want to skimp out on guards temple if you're making a really strong one And I'll show you guys that as I mentioned earlier. But that is also another long process. So I have Thunder, Gale, 
seed, blade, a plume, and wait. And now let's see what their artifact looks like. Oh, 147, 142. I must have missed one part, which was upgrading the Sacred Pavilion. I don't even see it. Oh, there we go. I'm like, where is the Sacred Pavilion? Okay, so there are 232 as well. And now let's go to the final Shandal. I'm going to do A Plume, Wait, Blade, Seed, Thunder, Seed, and then Gale. And then, let's see, did I upgrade this? Nope, let's demolish this right here and upgrade this. And now we're at 232 on this one as well. And then I just wanted to point out that these legacy modifiers, they can only be added at the fourth ring. So if I click on this ring right here, which is a third ring, it, as you can see it says these can only be built in rank 4 to 4 so this is why it's very important to have 48 states on your Shandal Disciple because once you have 48 states you're able to enter the 4th rank basically so that's the main reason why you would want to have 48 states because it's pretty much so that you can get those extra legacy artifacts if you want to go through that extra trouble however if you don't want to go through that trouble you can deal with like Pretty much as many states as I'm using right now for the Shandal Disciple and even less because I just have them like more even now. Like if I had stronger divine residences then I wouldn't really even need that much to make a Shandal artifact that messed up, that's maxed out without legacy modifiers. However I am going for the mats. So now that that's done I think I will... No I, I guess I don't need to save the game here do I? Alright so now I'll show you guys what it looks like when you add a legacy modifier to your Shandal artifact. So right now we have my Shandal artifact that's a uh, dragon feces and I can have my Lady Cloud prepare to equip this item. So let me show you. So obviously I would remove all of these artifacts because they're pretty much useless to me at this point. Uh, that was a bad plan actually because I do want to make sure that I at least have these items in a good spot. Let's see. Sorry, I have to pick up these artifacts again. Because these are all sub spirit gear too, so I just want to have them all over here. So here we go, have our powerful artifacts all safe and sound. So now if I go into Shindal Sits, I can equip their artifact right. And now I have a really overpowered artifact equipped once they actually go and equip it. So now this is just 135,000 power just by itself without any legacy modifiers right. However, if I remove the artifact and then I go into Shendal Sits and I add in one of the legacy modifiers. So for example, Hall of Poisons right here. Then this artifact will change and it will have this legacy modifier right here. As you see it says legacy artifact. For every 36 strike, it will attack the enemy body itself penetrating the chi, chi shield, which is pretty good. But now because it's a legacy artifact, I can't pick it up. So the workaround for that is for you to have your Shandal Disciple turn off these legacy buildings and then have your Disciple equip them. And then once your Disciple equips them, the Shandal can then actually turn these legacy buildings back on. So let's just do all of them. So Poison Spirit and then skip these three and then I need more just buying residences. So let's see how would I go about doing this. Hmm. I guess it's this guard's temple is also too high. So let's just demolish this. I don't really care about this because they don't need that much health. So then 
we don't want these three so Spectre for sure breath nine you want all the legacy modifiers infinity and wind so this is pretty much why I was set on getting eight extra states so I can add all these modifiers so now that that's done and uh, my lady cloud has that specific artifact equipped if we go to the artifact we can see it's that so now it's just really overpowered so it has all of the legacy modifiers so this um, the cyber pretty much just has like a really strong artifact that's pretty much in the same bracket as multiple legacy artifacts so it's super duper strong the only thing about these artifacts is that their artifact power is obviously not as high as some of these other artifacts can get to but they are pretty much the strongest ones so I wanted to also do a comparison between these legacy artifacts and a needle of tribulation because a needle of tribulation can effectively get to like nearly 400 artifact power I forgot exactly how much so I'm just gonna move forward and then drop all of my artifacts on that um, lady cloud but uh, I also know that I need to add self spirits to these artifacts so that's another good thing about the Chanel artifacts is that you can make them not legacy artifacts and then you can like move forward and then add self spirits to them whereas when it comes to the legacy artifacts you can't add self spirits to them because a disciple has to claim them and only the disciple that has them claimed can actually equip them so that's another thing so Shinnok Sis can actually just take their artifact back from Lady Cloud so I'm just gonna move forward and actually prepare to add the sub spirits to the artifacts as well so that's just going to be a whole nother part of the process but I guess I'll just show you guys what it looks like to have my channel disciple equip all of these artifacts and have all these legacy artifacts as well and then I'll just be pretty much having fun in my next videos and just like min maxing everything and just testing different things out so let's just move forward with doing that and so again I don't need this guard's temple to be maxed out because we don't need that much health anymore so let's get this level 3 and I did all of this without collecting belief from agencies which is so nice poison spirit recall specter breath 9 infinity and wind then I just stop all of them And now, let's do the same thing with Chanel 2. Poisons. Let's just demolish this over in general. Spirit, magic. Oh, not magic. I don't want that. It sucks. Spirit. Recall. Spectre. Breath. Nine infinity and wind. That's perfect. None of these need to be upgraded, they just come pretty much like how they are. So I think I have three more to go. I have to do three, four, and five. So then I'll just now disable all of these buildings so that my channel disable can pick them up. And now let's do channel three. Again make room for these other temples that I'm working on they won't have to do any more tribulations if I don't force them to do any more so should be good specter breath 9 infinity and then wind this guy has two extras so I'm just looking through to see if there is something that I'm missing I should have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I have eight. So that's good. Oh, and then let me stop these as well. Stop, stop, stop. Now I just have two more Shindal to do this on. Oh, I could have just stopped the Guards Temple. I shouldn't have destroyed it. I wasted a perfectly good, like, level nine temple yeah uh, yeah you don't have to destroy the temple you can just stop it 
that's just something that I was overlooking. Plus, I'm rich in belief, so my guys almost have like 3 million. They will continuously get more since their Shinra Artifacts are now on level 15. So, where are we at? Yeah, this guy doesn't have any of the trash ones. So, you can obviously see that I use the D Scummer to pick the legacy buildings that he got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Perfect. Oh, I keep forgetting to stop them. Stop. Freeze. And now for the last one, which is Chanel 5. I believe Chanel 6 is already good. Oh, I forgot to stop and then I demolished it by mistake. Um, let's put Hall of Poisons back. Stop. Stay stopped. Now Chanel 5. Poison spirit, not mastery. Ugh. Spectre, and then I can just stop these two. Yeah, so if you just stop it, then it reduces the amount of required divine residence because it's just frozen. So, how many do I have? I feel like this is not eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I'm missing the recall one. Yep. So the only one that's left over is the mastery one. So now let's stop this. And then, like I said, I do want to create a sub spirit set. So I'm going to stop this, create a saves come, and then re equip them, and then show you guys what it looks like. And maybe I'll just attack this sec just to see if there's like a big difference from when I was dominating the sex earlier and now so let's see now that I've done all of that I'm pretty sure all of these artifacts are pretty much ready yeah none of them have legacy modifiers so I'm gonna save my game and then get ready for that So six oh nine equip Shendal artifact. A lot of saves coming over here. Well not saves coming, I'm just making backups I guess. Alright, so now that that's done, I can actually move forward and equip those Chanel artifacts. However, I do want to see if there's a way that I can actually fight myself. So, let's see. Because I want to do a comparison, but I want it to be like a good comparison. So, let's see. Um, I know that I uploaded my character at one point, so let's see. I need to check in the Discord. Let's see, let's see. Where is my disciple? Okay, so if you have the this wonder right here called the Heaven Echo Altar, let's see if I can find it. Right here. So if you have this Heaven Echo Altar, then you can actually fight different disciples across different players by just giving them a code. So I'm going to go into here and then just double check that I can fight myself in terms of like when I uploaded my disciple. So let's see if I pull up Lady Cloud. I do have an upload of Lady Cloud available. So I just want to see if I can like fight myself. And then I can move forward with equipping the Shindle artifacts and then like fight myself again to pretty much 
figure out which one is stronger, you know. So that's the method that I'm planning to use. So I remember when I uploaded Lady Cloud, the code was first you have to you have to link them together if you haven't done so in the save. And every time I did this, I never like actually save my game. So if I link them, you guys can fight this version of Lady Cloud with one C four E D. But this one doesn't even have artifacts. So if you want to do that, then I, I don't even know why you would do that. So anyways, the one that I uploaded before was one B F F one. So let's just see if that works out. So yeah, I have this Lady Cloud, which is Law of Nimbus, and then she has all of the artifacts equipped, and then she has that really high artifact power, and then she has like all of the buffs. So let's see. Okay, so it looks like we can fight ourselves in the past, so we don't even have an artifact, so we're just going to lose this like really quickly, or maybe not. <laughs> well, yeah. This one does have 7 million chi and you cannot fast forward while you're fighting in the Heaven Echo Altar, so it is kind of slow. So I'm just going to surrender. So I was just able to basically confirm that I was able to fight myself. So that's pretty much what I'm going to use to determine which is better. Because we can sit around and like equip these artifacts, look at the stats and say, oh, this is better, this, whatever. Or we can just upload the characters and then have them fight to literally see which one is better. So now that I'm back in sect. I will have the Lady Cloud equip the Chanel Artifacts. I think that the Lady Cloud that I have right now will probably still lose just because they don't have a sub spirit set anymore and that's pretty big. But if they win without a sub spirit set then that would be pretty insane. Let me see. One of these legacy artifacts is not removing every seven attacks reduce skill cooldown by one second so I just need to find that building so that probably was the one that I made a mistake and deleted and then removed also this one right here let me stop that alright so now Lady Cloud will equip all six of these where is Shindal 3's artifact right here then I guess I probably should activate origin force as well let's go beast mode and use origin force power and then I don't think there's anything else I need they have the dark armor talisman sharp sword spirit sword they have everything else equipped so now they're just going to equip all these So now their artifact power is at 1 million and then I just want to toggle off, I want to remove this artifact and then re-equip it just to double check and that's accurate. Okay so it's at 1, point 1 million which is about half the amount that it was before with those other artifacts that I had. So let's just see what I'm working with. Yeah it's because my artifact power bonus is just so low now whereas before is 151,000 so honestly if they're able to beat the older version of Lady Cloud then I will be very impressed with these Shindal artifacts why do I keep doing that? um that was the Holy Spirit so now I have to turn on all of these legacy modifiers for the artifacts now that they are equipped Shindal 2 Oh wow well, I'm bad for that Shindal 3 I wish I could just like Control shift Enable everything. Just 
Just three more to go, guys. But yeah, my goal is to do this and then add actually subspheres to the Shinra artifacts and then also compare like the three. So basically I would compare the Shindao with Marble Swords of Tao versus Shindao with the artifacts and then versus Shindao with Needle Tribulation. And Needle Tribulation cannot have sub spirits because it's a legacy artifact. But I think that honestly, I think that Needle of Tribulation might win just because I'm biased against it. I'm biased for the Needle of Tribulation. Honestly, because I just really like it. And I like the way it works and I know that it will have more power than all of these so the real question is like are these fancy legacy modifiers super useful or is raw power more useful so that's what I'm really interested in figuring out and I feel like for the most part it's just raw power on this game so now we have all of these legacy modifiers and we are using poop artifacts so they will be like super annoying our cultivators so now I do also want to eat the spirit crystal because that's what I had on the, um, that other version of Lady Cloud that I had and then I also had a spirit stone and then you know consuming a shield pill won't hurt either even though it's not really that strong I'm just gonna do just everything that I can even think of in terms of like good combat and then a chibi game pill And then besides that, they do have Origin Force turned on, so they're pretty buffy. So they have six Legacy Artifacts that are all Poop Artifacts, which are essentially the strongest ones that you can use, especially as a non-cultivator. So let's try this again. Can we beat us? Me vs. Me, round two. Shendao Legacy Artifact Edition. So we're in a legacy, um, we're gonna have an echo altar. I guess I'll just relink this one. So now you guys can fight this version of Lady Cloud with all of the Shindao legacy artifacts without the sub spirits. And she has a 1 million artifact barrier power and 7 million chi. Just let me know if you end up beating her. I mean, that would be amazing. So 1BFF1. Now let's see, just double check again, they have the Swords of Tiles and 159% bonus so their artifact power is about double. So let's challenge. So yeah, hopefully something good happens out of this. But yeah, as you can see I have all of these buffs that I lined up. I also consumed a Divine Powder, I forgot about that as well. Huh. Demon body, purying. Okay, let's see how this fight's going. Oh, wow. Yeah, this <laughs> this version is absolutely sweeping my original version of Lady Cloud. So we can tell that this disciple is definitely significantly stronger. Because they're at like half health. They're just suffering from just so many different types of negative effects and things like that. That's impressive so I guess you would want to fight this one yeah they're not even close it's all of the source sprites honestly from like the legacy modifier that makes the artifacts duplicate itself I don't even need to heal let's see yeah for every 15 attacks create a source sprite Wow, that was easy. That was like no competition, honestly. So yeah, there you go. The Shandao artifacts are way stronger than the Shandao artifacts at the very least that you can craft. Now, in the next video, are they? Or maybe I'll just do a split and then start the new video on this type of content. But in the next time that, whatever, and then <laughs> next I will be able to check whether or not these are better than the legacy artifacts which they probably are just based on like how I saw that fight go and then I'm also going to add sub spirits to these artifacts so it's going to get crazy so yeah thank you for watching and 
I hope you learned a lot while watching this. I know that this is probably either going to be a long video or a short video, depending on how I split it up. But I'm just going to do my outro here and maybe change the way that I upload these videos. But yeah, I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoy watching me set up my Shindao Disciples as well as set up their legacy buildings and pretty much how to make it so that a Shindao Disciple can equip their legacy artifacts. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.